Razorfish, part of Publicis Group, was one of the world's largest interactive agencies. Razorfish provided services including web development, media planning and buying, technology and innovation, emerging media, analytics, mobile, advertising, creative, social influence marketing and search. Razorfish had more than 2,000 employees worldwide, with U.S. offices in New York, Chicago, Seattle, San Francisco, Philadelphia, Portland, Los Angeles, Atlanta, and Austin. In 2005 to 2007, it expanded overseas through acquisitions in London, Paris, Sydney, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Beijing, Berlin, Frankfurt, Singapore and a joint venture in Tokyo. In 2013, Razorfish launched its operations in India through the acquisition of Neve Technologies. Razorfish Neve was based in Bangalore and provides outsourced product and application development solutions. In October 2016, Razorfish merged with Sapient Corporation's division Sapient Nitro, a Publicis Group sister company, to form Sapient Razorfish. In July 2018, Publicis announced plans to sunset the Sapient Razorfish brand and roll the remaining employees under the Publicis Sapient organization. Topic: History Topic. Beginnings Razorfish was founded in New York in 1994 by childhood friends Craig Kanarik and Jeff Darchies, with the motto, Solutions to Hard Problems. The company was originally headquartered at Jeff's apartment in Alphabet City in Manhattan. Their first major project was a $20,000 assignment to create a small website for the New York Botanical Society, commissioned by Time Warner's Pathfinder Business Unit. A few months later, they moved into an office at 580 Broadway and hired three new employees. Topic early success The company generated over $300,000 in revenues in 1995 and over $1.2 million in 1996, with a $300,000 EBITDA profit. They were one of the first companies to have an animated homepage, utilizing the server push capabilities of the latest version of the Netscape browser. Because of this and aggressive marketing tactics the firm grew quickly over the next few years. Soon thereafter, they received a strategic investment from Omnicom along with other new media pioneers, Agency.com, Red Sky Interactive, Think New Ideas and Organic, making them one of the first firms to be financed by a traditional media holding company. Razorfish used this money to move to new offices, redesign their branding to include the slogan Everything that can be digital will be, and expand operations. It and other New York-based web design companies formed the core of a cluster of new media companies known as Silicon Alley. In 1997, the company generated over $3.6 million in revenues, with a healthy portfolio of prestigious clients like KPMG and Charles Schwab. In January 1998, Razorfish made its first of what was to be many acquisitions, by purchasing Avalanche Systems. In 1998, Razorfish also acquired Plastic in San Francisco, London-based CHBI, Los Angeles-based Media, and then merged with Scandinavian interactive leader, Spray, which had offices in Sweden, Finland, Norway and Germany. The company generated over $83 million in revenue in 1998 and was profitable, putting it on solid ground for an IPO. The company had over 1,100 employees at the time. In April 1999, the company had an IPO which raised $48 million at $16 per share. In fall 1999, Razorfish acquired International Integration, Inc., IQ, a Boston based company founded by Yanis Doganize, Madhivanand, and Edouard Aslanian, its largest deal to date. The company's sales for 1999 topped $170 million. In May 2000, Razorfish announced the launch of Intervision Razorfish, a joint venture based in Tokyo. Around the same time, as the entire industry started to feel the effects of the dot-com bubble, Razorfish saw Q4 revenues of $50.1 million, a 5% drop from the year before. Total revenues for 2000 were almost $268 million. In February 2001, Razorfish laid off 400 employees, roughly 20% of its staff, with its stock price descending from a February 2000 high of $57 to just $1 per share. Topic: 60 Minutes 2 Interview. In February 2000, Craig Kanarik and Jeff Darchies were interviewed by Bob Simon on 60 Minutes 2, where they appeared unable to answer the question. What do you do? The interview was widely viewed as a complete disaster. Topic: <inaudible> Acquisition by SBI. Razorfish was taken private by SBI Group, formerly SBI and Company, in 2003 and was renamed to SBI Razorfish. 
SBI also purchased other assets from the Fast Five. Including signed IXL, March 1st, formerly US Web and CKS Group, Emerald Solutions, Lante, and Accelerate. Topic: <laughs> Acquisition by Aquantive. The company was renamed again, this time as Avenue A Razorfish, when the SBI Razorfish division of the SBI Group, formerly SBI and Company, was acquired by Aquantive in 2004. The Avenue A – Razorfish combination in 2004 resulted in an interactive agency which according to AdAge had the highest interactive revenue in the U.S. in 2005, at $189.8 million. Topic acquisition by Microsoft Microsoft announced on May 18, 2007 its intention to acquire Avenue A – Razorfish as part of a $6 billion cash purchase of parent company Aquantive. The transaction closed on August 10, 2007. Razorfish continued to function as an independent company as part of Microsoft Advertising, run by Brian McAndrews, formerly CEO of Aquantive, who reported directly to the president of Microsoft's Platforms and Services division. On October 20, 2008, the company decided to be known as Razorfish, dropping the Avenue A brand. In June 2009, it was reported that Microsoft had put the company up for sale. Topic. Acquisition by Publicis Group Microsoft had earlier in June 2009 notified the markets of its intention to sell Razorfish, which many believed conflicted with Microsoft Advertising's main operations that sell advertising technology services to rival agencies. On August 9, Paris-based holding company Publicis Group agreed to acquire Razorfish from Microsoft for $530 million in cash and shares, which in turn gave Microsoft a 3% equity stake in Publicis Group. Clark Kokick had served as CEO of the company since July 2007, however, in April 2008, Bob Lord was named the new CEO, while Kokick took on the newly formed role of chairman. In July 2013, Pete Stein was promoted to the role of global CEO. Stein had been part of the executive leadership team for five years. Pete was succeeded as the CEO by Tom Adamski and then by Shannon Denton. In October 2015, Tom Adamski died of cancer. In 2016, Razorfish merged with Sapient Nitro to form Sapient Razorfish, which will be co-led by former Sapient Nitro CEO Alan Wexler and Sapient Consulting CEO Chip Register. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Global offices. North America, United States, Razorfish. Canada, Razorfish Europe, Germany, Razorfish. UK, Razorfish Asia Pacific Australia, Razorfish China, Razorfish Hong Kong, Razorfish India, Razorfish Neve Singapore, Razorfish Latin America Brazil, Razorfish Topic. Awards and recognition Topic. 1998. In April 1998, the Razorfish subnetwork, designed by Razorfish, was added to the permanent collection of the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. Topic 2008. In 2008, Razorfish won over 75 creative awards, including 10 Webbies, 11 Interactive Media Awards, 16 Web Awards, 3 OMMAs, 2 Addies, and 3 Create Awards. The Nike Sweet Spots campaign produced by Duke, a Razorfish company located in France, was recognized on the 2008 Cannes Cyber Lines shortlist. Also, Razorfish's chief strategy officer Jeff Langto, was named for the second consecutive year to the MediaWeek 50, a list of the country's top media executives. Forrester Research cited the company as a leader in the Forrester Wave, interactive marketing agencies report published in December 2007. At age named then Avenue A, Razorfish 2005 Media Agency of the Year. Forrester Research ranked it as a top-tier web design agency in its 2006 Web Design Agency Shootout. Its work for Mercedes-AMG won the 2006 Webby Award for Best Automotive Site, and its redesign of nytimes.com garnered a 2007 Webby for Best Newspaper Site. Topic. 2010 In 2010, Razorfish was awarded top value added partner by Adobe for Razorfish's work in the Enterprise Partner Program for Omniture Technology.
2012 Ad Age placed Razorfish at number 4 on their annual agency A list. Also in 2012, Razorfish won the One Show Entertainment Gold Pencil for innovation in branded content for client acts. Topic 2013. In 2013, Razorfish was again recognized by Ad Age, placing number nine on their annual agency A list. 